You're not a hustler, you keep getting in front of you just can't flip it. You ain't really got it, you P Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where just got a new Glock? <laughs> That's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac, know what's up, you know on the mill tick. Man, we out here, man. Pull up, pull up, pull up. It's a brand new shoe out here, man. Feel me? Ain't nobody just, just motherfucking taking off that brand new shoe and leaving it right here like this. And it look like it's blood right there. Look at it. I know what blood look like. Definitely giving blood, bro. And definitely a brand new ass shoe, man. This bitch ain't got no crease and clean as hell. Blood on the back. Who the fuck leaving a brand new shoe right here? Come on, man. Definitely blood, bro. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't think that's blood, you crazy, bro. I know what blood look like. Feel me? That's why I motherfucking. Detroit needs to start tearing down these big ass. This out here is brother, and this shit just really just fuck me up, bro. My heart got my heart beating. But he just sent me a picture of her wearing the same exact shoes I posted, bro. Same fucking shoes, bro. We gotta go search that building. Not later. Not another day. We gotta search that building today. If the cops ain't gonna search that bitch, we gotta search that bitch today, man. Same fucking shoes. Them is her shoes, bro. What up, though? You already know how it go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment, you dig. I ain't tripping what you say. Uh, listen, vote conversation, man. There's lots of mobiles. I see a lot to my comrades. I know you somewhere saying my salam, 14 to the G's. Salam alaikum to the black men in the nation. Islam, palms up, almighty. To the Lord, salam a job way, pin it to the stones. 212 to the bloods. I know you somewhere saying 204 back. Mazel talk to the Jews. I salam alaikum to the Akis. So on and so forth, man. Peace and blessings be to all y'all. Uh, I ain't dropped in a minute. Got to put my face on camera, man. Yeah, y'all been telling me. But I want to give y'all a little update. Uh, we've been searching for this missing girl, man. Um, at, at, at this point, shout out to Make the Streets Cry, Lou Bands. He won't really kicked off this and brought a lot of attention to it on social media and on Instagram. And brought attention to it and put action behind it. This is a rapper. He's a rapper. He got songs to do, got shows to do, videos to shoot. But he take the time out of his day and meet up and go search for this girl and find evidence and so on and so forth, right? Uh, I talked to Sergeant Jones, um, Detective Sergeant Jones. Um, they cleared the Three Mile Area Park or whatnot. They need Elijah Hall Park clear. We I cleared a bit of it. I know, I know Lou and them did some, but it's still a bank that I want to check. Also, too, now that I've been putting a message out there, one of the homies that tapped in got a super big drone, right? And then I've been looking at this little x-ray machine that you can buy online. I don't know how well it works. It's over there from China. I don't know. But you can put it on the drone or you can put it on the bottom of a little uh, boat and, like, scan the areas. So that's an option. I got somebody else who said they're going to want to bring the hound dogs out, but we would need some of her old clothing. And, you know, I, if it got sent on it or not, I, I wouldn't know at this moment because it's been a couple weeks since her disappearance. While Lou was searching this wooded area, he found a shoe on top of a tree and some pants next to it. The description given to the girl was inaccurate. So when he found the stuff and sent the picture to her brother, he sent the picture with her with the same shoes on. The shoes had blood on it also. It, it seems like it was blood on it. And they damn near brand new shoes. Nobody's just going to ditch those shoes. And we believe they did belong to the girl. The police didn't. They looked past it at first. How do you? This is the thing. How do you look past? You searching for a missing girl in a wooded area, right? And you randomly find... Some sweatpants and some brand new Air uh, Jordan or Air Ones. Dunk, I think they was dunks on a tree with something that looked like blood on it. But you you looking for it don't matter. You should have took that in. That could have been the DNA of another girl. But it turns out to be her stuff. Right? That's crazy to me. That is crazy. What no police wouldn't no police in Rochester Hills would have would have walked past that. Bloomfield Hills. Nova, Wixom, Ward Lake, the Detroit police, that, that that angered me so much. How do you leave those clothing out there and then you got to have a rapper come tell you, nah, that's probably what she had on. 
or it belonged to another girl who was missing with some identical stuff on. That's crazy. And I'm going to show y'all all the videos at the end of the video are doing that. I'm going to show you, but it's crazy. The, oh, man. Okay, so anyway, I seen her father on the news. Her father said she was a beautiful person. He talking in past tense. Now, do he know something that we don't know from the detectives? Maybe they gave him a little bit more information. Or he know that her demise has came. It's been this long since she's been found. So the longer it go on, the most likely she's not alive. And usually people kidnap women or, or people, they usually kill them out of the necessity because they can they don't want to be identified. They kidnappers usually know or are familiar with the with the, with the person. It's a lot of comments talking about the daddy got into some stuff. Or the daddy, she was gonna report the daddy about some abuse and maybe he got it's, it's some weird stuff going on. Now, it's a couple non-compliant sex offenders in each of the regions they told us to check. And some of them became recently non-compliant. It's weird. So, I don't know which side to pick. I'm not saying that daddy did it. But it's a lot of people saying this stuff. And then, you know, of course, people inbox me to know the family or no other family and no stuff. And they all saying this to daddy. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying, homie, you're talking in past tense, but the grandmother's saying, like, oh, she holding out hope. It's like, you know something. Why you, why you saying was? Fake alligator tears you had? That was weird to me, man. I don't know. We we, we only can, you know, we only, we, we only can assume things. But those pants and clothes there that was found on that tree look staged. Look staged. Whoever did it, not too smart. But luckily, you got the Detroit police, you know, doing their thing. And that's not to criticize all of them. That's just saying, like, you know, how do you pass over evidence like that? And, and, and James E. White, he's uh, he ordered divers to go in rivers. Well, you put two and two together, homie. You're not ordering divers to go in rivers and search the woods for somebody that's living. She's not just around there swimming for weeks. It's like we know the, the your young girl perished. Shortly after, the 17-year-old come up missing. Then you got the two kids from Kent missing. It's just like it's a spree that's going on, man. I don't know if it's all related. But I hope the families get some closure because it's 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 hard to not know what happened to your child or your loved one. It's very hard, very. Look, we just all, all we can do is hold out, man. All we can do is hold out for hope. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words about it. It's affected me personally. Tomorrow, hopefully, it won't be raining. I'll go out there again. Hopefully, get the ATV, go out there and cover some ground, man. It allows your whole part. But we need more people concerned. And for the people who are saying Louis is snitchy, working with the police, kidnapping, pedophilia, victimizing our elders, that's not a part of the game, homie, at all. It's not a part of the game. It's not. That, that's what the community is supposed to do. But you don't see the gangbangers coming together. Yeah, let's get together. Let's find this guy. Let's find this person. You don't see them putting resources together for that, but they're breaking your house every day. The gang's so, like, awful. They don't even got respect in the community to the point. Where, you know, it, 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 I've seen gangs function at a high level where they helped the community. They cleaned up. They kept kids in school, kept them away from selling drugs. They were gang banging. They was doing their thing in the streets. But the people on the block respected them enough to be like, okay, well, you know, you is doing this, this, and that, but you're keeping the drama away. You're keeping the kids safe. You telling us what the kids out here doing in the street, keeping us informed. So, you know, we ain't going to call the police on you. But at this point in time, they don't got enough respect in the, in the community to do, do anything righteous enough to where the people respect them. 